Hi, welcome in another video on Suzuki Vitara. This time I will be again fighting with Matt, but it will be more manual job than in previous video. Let's check scene of action first. First part won't be a big challenge, just a small muddy paddle. But main part of the mat is quite long and no real solid run to support the car. I decided there to use traction tracks for additional support. I have already laid them down in the first part of the mat. The rest of the mat is not so bad, there are dry parts where wheels can find some more solid support. Right side of this one looks nasty, but I should manage it without tracks. Let's ride it. First one is easy, just a small paddle. Next one seems similar, but surprisingly it was deep and steep. Back left wheel hanged in the air, and front bumper rested on the ground. I decided to turn back, not to damage bumper, and try it differently. I went more around it on the left side. Still you can see where it's spinning a little. Now in front of me the toughest part. I cover around half of the mat with my traction tracks assuring me that on most part I will have some stable support for at least part of the wheels. I move few meters back to start with higher speed to pass second part of the mat with car inertia only. As I planned, first part I managed to cross with traction tracks and the rest with only speed that I have managed to build up. Second obstacle seems not to be so muddy as first one, but still this mud is not giving a lot of traction for the wheels. Left wheels I have on stable ground, while right ones are skidding a bit. Rest is shallow and not difficult to pass. You could see how not very expensive traction tracks can help you to pass even longer, few meter mat obstacle. Without traction tracks there is less chance only speed would allow me to pass it. Probably I would stop somewhere in the middle with wheels spinning. Good recommendation is to use traction tracks before, because after you will stuck in the mat or in a sand it is much harder to put them to use, especially if you don't have somebody to help you. The disadvantage of using trucks is that you need to put some effort to get them out from a mat. Mat tend to suck them in and to be able to get them out I need to dig out some mat from around them and then to lever them with aluminum pipe. First one recovered. Same way second one. As expected, I am covered with mud. Even car seems to be less dirty than me and he only takes some mud in the front bumper. That is it for today, thanks for watching, see you in the next one.